The price of cement has been steadily climbing over the last two months and it has led to stagnation in the construction sector as many projects have stalled because of the cost of the vital construction material. The price of a bag of cement has risen from an average of 28,000 shillings a few months ago to as high as 50,000 shillings in some parts of the country. According to experts, different micro and macro economic effects have contributed to the rise. However, while touring the new site of the Simba Cement Factory in Toro on Friday morning, the State Minister for Investment, Evelyn Anita, said the price of cement is bound to reduce by half from next month. Uh, just in a month from now, the price of cement is going to be cut by half from 40000 per bag to 20000 which is such an exciting news for all of us Ugandans because cement is an important component in our construction. Anita added that while it is now a challenge for Ugandans to continue with construction projects, with the expected increase in production, in the long run, the price of cement will stabilize. Incentives, he's not asking you to give him uh, superficial uh, incentives that he, he needs. He has come with his money to invest in this country. And he has told us what, I'm, what I want from the country is the raw material. The only other thing they've asked me is license for the iron ore so that they can make steel using the iron ore. The group chairman of Simba Cement noted that they shall ensure that the price of cement will be reduced starting 15th May. We will reduce the price. It is not because of anything else. Our main aim is to give the, the cement and steel both at the affordable price to all Ugandans. Price, the profit will come itself. We don't want any incentive from the government because after that, taking from one hand and giving on the other hand, anybody can do it. Being the largest and biggest supplier in East Africa, Neranda Raval expressed his gratitude to the government of Uganda for providing them with a conducive environment to set up its operations. That the Ugandan government, the way helpful is for the investors and, to, and, and the keen about the creating the investment and the jobs, is, I have not experienced in any part of Africa. The factory shall begin by producing 3,000 tons per day. More research all in TV.